Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be tying a Soldier Parma. Uh, so in the vise I've got a Philly Mill uh, Competition Heavyweight in Black Nickel. It's a size 10. Hope you can see that. I'm, I'm experimenting with a new, a new light at the moment. I'm not too sure how good the how good the angle is on it. So uh, we'll see how we go on with it. Uh, for the thread I'm going to be using a, it's the red uni thread in 8 So uh, like a lot of anglers, certainly in Scotland, this is this is one of the the flies I used to use when I first started fishing. Uh, I used to fish, uh, I wouldn't quite say loch style, uh, but a lot of the traditional wet flies. Uh, and this was always this was always on my cast. And I, even to this day, it's it's a it's a great top dropper uh, fly. Uh, you know, it's you, you can't beat it really. It still, it still catches loads and loads of fish. I'm going to tie it the, the way I was showing to tie it originally. Uh, but there's loads and loads of different uh, materials you can use. Uh, so for the tail, I'm just going to use some uh, some red wool that I've had for years and years. Uh, now I've stripped it. There's, the wool's made up of three three strands of, of wool. Uh, for the body, all you need is one, but for the tail, I'm going to use two. And I'm going to actually double it over, so you've got effectively four strands of wool. Catch that in. Turn that away, actually. Catch that in roughly the, the length of the body. Just work your way up. Actually. That's fine. And then the way back down, we'll tie another strand. And I don't mind this being uh, quite a bulky fly because because it's a palmered fly, uh, it's going to be bushy anyway. So it's it doesn't really matter how thick the body ends up being. You're still going to. Uh, you know, it's still going to fish in the top a few feet of water. That's perfect. Just trim away the tail. Roughly, probably half the length of the body. That's about right. Uh, we need some. We need, we need some gold. Some gold wire. So really I tied this in before uh, before the wool, but never mind. Doesn't make too much difference in this flight. There we go. Uh, it's just a case of winding your, your wool up for your body. So say if you wanted this a wee bit thicker. You could have a couple of strands of wool. Uh, one's going to be one's going to be fine. You can you can use dubbing. You can use uh, you know seals for most of the guys use now. Uh, anything you want really. But this is the this is the original way I was showing how to how to tie and it catches loads of fish. That's the main thing. Tie that off. Turn that away. You can see the the wool starts to kind of split and it gives you that bushy effect anyway. Uh, now you want some kind of this this is a kind of brown cock uh, cape. Uh, Brown, it's more of a we quite call it a game, red game, but it's, it's not far off it. So, select anyway, select a feather, that's about right. Okay, and this is this is one of these flies you can make as sparse or as bushy as you want. 
So I've exposed the coral, I like it quite bushy. Catch that out. Move it back a wee bit. I'm just going to do this by hand because if I use the hackle pliers I think it's going to hit the camera. So a full turn and a half at the front and then just work your way back down. And then I'm going to catch this in with your gold wire. And work your way back up. Nicely spaced turns. Everything back and just tidy up the head. Now, for this fly, that's going to be it. Now, what you can do is you can add another, just try that way, you can add another hackle at the front uh, and you can you can you can make it a different colour from the from the body. Uh, you can make it a hen hackle, so you get that bit more movement. It's up to yourself, but I'm just going to tie some up like this. Uh, and I'll, I, I tie these in different colours, so I know it's not technically a soldier palmer, but it's a different colour. But I, I, I tie these in olive. Uh, I'll be doing a wee batch of olive ones. Uh, if I've already got some hackle here. That's that's the that's the cock hackle I'm going to be using for the for the uh, the olive ones. I'll maybe do a wee video of them uh, and, and put it up. Uh, I better tie that off actually. Distracting myself here. So, I'll about to finish this. Trim my weight. And then, you want to get a dubbing brush, or I've just got my trusty lollipop here with some Velcro on it, and just brush out the tail. I say it's a great, it's a great wee fly. Uh, works everywhere. You'll know, uh, you'll know, find a place where the soldier palmer doesn't work. As I say, I, I use it as my top dropper fly. Anytime I'm fishing a, a team of a team of wets, uh, some varnish in the, the head. Uh, so that's that. That's the soldier palmer. Uh, I've got a wee feather here, I'll just clean the eye out. That's it. Uh, as I say, I'll maybe do another one, uh, just the olive one, just to show you. But uh, So that's the Soldier Palmer guy, so I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, it's a good one to tie, especially for a, for a beginner. Uh, it teaches you how to palmer, palmer the hackle. So it's it's a it's a good one for, you know if you're if you've just started out fly tying this is a good one to try and to to practice on uh, because there's a few different it's, it's simple but there's a few different techniques in there so uh, let me know how you got on guys and all the best cheers. <laughs>